Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. My name is Abby. If you're new around here, welcome. And if you're not new, thanks again for watching another video. So in today's video, I will be talking about my experience using the Nivea Sun UV Face Shine Control SPF 50 sunscreen. So this particular sunscreen, um, actually I should say, so this sunscreen is very affordable. I think it's like $7.99 in most most stores yeah it's about 7.99 and sometimes you can get it on offer for like six pounds you can get like a pound off two pounds off depending on when you get it this is what it looks like by the way so it promises to be lightweight long lasting and instant mattifying effect the cream absorbs excess oil from skin surface it protects from uv and UV, uva and uvb rays and high energy visible light effects. Um, it's non-sticky, it says it's eye friendly and ophthalmologically tested, uh, proven rather, respects the ocean by being octinoxate, oxybenzone, octocrylene, fr and free of microplastics. And the box itself is FSC mix certified cardboard. So that's quite good, it's you know definitely reef safe. So this on the back of it says it's hydrating formula instant and long lasting mattifying effect and it also protects you from visible light essentially not just uv and uvb rays so i like the fact that it says it's eye safe so if you're ever worried about that that's this definitely won't do that it won't make your eyes water and on the back it has four star uva rating that is something we tend to have in like most european countries and in the uk um, just to at least measure our UVA because I guess most sunscreens in the beginning, in the beginning of time were more UVB focused. UVA rays are more uh, deeper penetrate, they penetrate deeper into the skin and they are responsible for the breakdown of collagen, elastin and aging in general. Um, and then UVB is usually for burning, so those are the rays responsible for burning. UVA rating on a sunscreen is very important. Just try and pay attention to it, especially the ones in the UK. Um, I've realised with the US sunscreens, they just say UVA, UVB protection or broad spectrum protection. But in the UV, but in the UVA, in the in the UK or in the EU, uh, we do tend to have a star rating. And I've actually heard of this referred to as the Boots star rating, which I didn't even know. I have to do some research and confirm whether or not Boots actually invented this because that would be, you know, quite a big achievement. Anywho, ramble aside, this is 50 mLs of product. Um, it's again, it's an affordable drugstore sunscreen. Now, my experience with this is um, it is scented. It has that Nivea scent. I believe nearly every Nivea product, if not all Nivea products, have that Nivea scent. I don't love Nivea. <laughs> I will say that. I don't love the scent of Nivea products, I don't use Nivea products because of that scent, it's that really old school scent, um, yeah it just doesn't conjure up happy memories, I don't love Nivea products, however this is a really really good sunscreen and I was drawn in because it says it was, because it says it's a shine control sunscreen and it has 0% sticky feeling which I can confirm, it applies beautifully, it has a really really nice elegant formula and it does have a satin satin finish to it it's not shiny it's not completely like matte it's not one of those it, it, it won't do what your primer will do basically if you're thinking it's gonna be that mattifying it won't be but it's not greasy and it does control shine for a few a good few hours the scent is probably the biggest thing for me but i still use it and i still this is my second tube this yeah i, I will buy it again because it's it's readily readily available and it's affordable so that's the thing for me and it does what it's supposed to do it has good uva protection it's factor 50 I mean what is there not to love and I don't get any reactions from you know the scent from the perfume that's used so I'm fine with it I just wish it wasn't there because I don't love the scent and it's just in general I don't tend to go for scented products unless they just work if they, if they work I will shut my mouth <laughs> shut my trap and just use the products which is what I've been doing with this but I will just let you know that it is scented because I know some people are concerned about that. I love the fact that it's eye safe. I don't find that it stings or burns. And I can't attest to the you know visible light or uh, any other protection claim. But I'll tell you that I like the way it applies. It, for me, it's just really how does it apply? Does it sting the eyes? Um, 
does it have a scent and what's the effect on my wallet how much does it affect my bank balance will i need to remortgage my house that i don't have for this that kind of thing so i like it i definitely would recommend it if you're looking for um a oily skin friendly sunscreen and you don't mind a scented product i'll definitely recommend this over and over again because it's affordable readily and it's readily available at the drugstore i mean how can you hate this there aren't enough um oil oily skin targeted sunscreens out there they just aren't enough and there aren't enough in the price bracket that i like this is the cheapest and the best for the price that i've found like with all the sunscreens i've used which you will see in this series this mini series if you will so i will be reviewing all my other sunscreens and doing a dedicated video to each and every one of them just to show you what they look like, what they apply like, um, how I feel about them, would I purchase them again, um, just to give a bit more in-depth information. So if you do like that, please do give this video a thumbs up. Those are my thoughts. I like it. I would definitely recommend it. You should try it if you have oily skin. It is very... Oh, and in terms of white cast as well, there, aren't, there is none. When, when you first apply it, it looks like there's going to be, but there isn't. It, it, it just goes invisible um, within seconds. So there is no white cast. So it's definitely dark skin friendly. Um, so yeah, if those are the buzzwords you were look, waiting to hear, you can click out the video now. It is definitely dark skin friendly, oily skin friendly. It doesn't break me out. So there is one more thing I did actually forget to mention. This is the chemical sunscreen which i actually did not mention um the second ingredient is homosalate so that is what i'm guessing is the majority in terms of the sunscreen protection there are probably other um other sunscreen filters in here obviously but it's not easy to identify that's probably one other thing that annoys me the transparency and i guess that might be just a old school nivea type of brand type of you know packaging that they don't really want to tell you too much because they don't think you need to know too much whereas with brands like Neutrogena they will actually tell you the percentages of the different filters that is one gripe I don't know what filters are in here apart from the homocyte which is probably the one I the one I, I recognize because it's so common so yeah I mean I wouldn't be able to look at this and say oh that's a sunscreen filter and that's a really good sunscreen filter I can't say because I don't know what they are and it doesn't state them yeah so yeah that's probably the only thing about this you don't know what percentages they are you just have to you just have to trust the formulation essentially yeah i'm not sure how you feel about that not having that level of transparency but again you just have to trust the formulation and as with all sunscreens you definitely don't want to just depend on the sunscreen for protection you want to try and wear uh, you know protective clothing um, avoid the sun at you know between the hours of 10 and 2 i believe is what is usually advised and yeah just try and keep out the sun as much as possible unless you want to be in the sun <laughs> yeah so if you're looking for you know a more reliable protection also try to top up on the sunscreen the only other thing is because this is a face sunscreen it is a very common thing for them to come in 50 ml sizes which again will not last long especially if you actually stick to the two hour retouch a uh, raw which yeah again it won't last long so it's a good thing that this is affordable because it's a really small package and i'm yet to find a dedicated face sunscreen that comes in a bigger package than a 50 ml typically you find that with face and body sunscreens or body sunscreens in general i'm yet to find a face sunscreen that comes in a bigger package and i don't know why i mean you can argue that it's travel friendly but i'm not going anywhere I want a bigger package and I want more value for money so I don't mind paying more for a bigger package but yeah I guess that's you know just it's just a common occurrence in you know these days so how do you feel about that comment down below let me know if you've tried this what you think about it and if you would recommend it yourself as well does the fragrance bother you yeah leave a comment just let me know what your thoughts are on this sunscreen and until next time, stay blessed, have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.